YouTube is now giving you strikes for playlists on your channel featuring videos on other people's channels in private playlists like the Watch Later playlist. Specifically, YouTube is giving community guidelines strikes and we've seen this happen now to several people. Here is Austin tweeting to Team YouTube complaining about a community guideline strike that he received on his Watch Later playlist. Here is that tweet. You can see it is on the Watch Later playlist and it is due to the community guideline policy. And he has submitted an appeal, but we've yet to see whether the appeal will work. Here's another YouTuber, Scar, who tweeted for exactly the same thing. Why was my entire watch later cleaned and why did I get a community guideline strike? Now he got a warning because it's his first ever community guideline strike. YouTube gives a once in a lifetime warning and then any future community guideline strike will result in a strike. Here is Spooky Pizza who had the exact same thing happen to him for his watch later playlist and Jaden. Now, what does YouTube say on its official policy? Click the link down there in the description below to read this YouTube help article behind me, where they clearly state that if you're creating playlists, don't post playlists on YouTube if they fit any of the descriptions noted below. The key thing to note is that if you were to combine all the playlists videos into a single video and that video were to violate our community guidelines, then the playlist may violate community guidelines as well, which means think about uploading all those videos to your channel. Would you want them on your channel, even if they're in your watch later playlist? So be very careful guys, because this is happening. This is new. And here are some examples. One that jumped out at me was a playlist that collects videos of dangerous or threatening pranks, such as fake home invasions or robberies. Now, the definition of a dangerous or threatening prank could be someone jumping into a pool uh, from a roof. If I have that in my playlist, I think I have a chance of getting a community guideline strike. So be very, be very careful about what you put in your playlists. And if you're worried, just go to another YouTube channel who does, which doesn't have any of your videos and start playlisting there just to be 100% safe so your main YouTube channel doesn't get community guideline strikes because of things you have in your playlists. Now guys, what do you think about this? Down there, tell me down there in the comments below. I see it from both sides. A popular playlist can generate lots of views to videos that violate community guidelines so YouTube doesn't want spreading the views of videos like that. So I think their solution is a little heavy handed. Why not just remove the video from your playlist or just let you know that there's a problem so that you have a chance to fix it before giving you a community guideline strike. Those are all alternate solutions to this problem. But so far, the decision YouTube has made is to issue community guideline strikes. I'm not very happy about this, guys. I'm a little more concerned about what are in my playlists because of these examples, but I'm pretty confident I'm not putting anything that violates YouTube's community guidelines in my playlists, but we'll have to see. I hope you feel the same way about the videos of the videos in playlists on your channel. Now there's another bit of news I wanted to share. Google allegedly is abusing its monopoly power and the Department of Justice is suing Google for antitrust violations. The link to this article on NPR is down there in the description below if you'd like to read it yourself. But the key point is that the US Department, Justice Department is suing Google, accusing the tech giant of breaking antitrust laws as it has amassed power and grown into the world's most dominant search engine at google.com. If you remember, Microsoft went through an antitrust lawsuit by the Department of Justice several years ago and it looks like Google may experience the same now. How will this change things? Well, from the Microsoft lawsuit, what we learned was that innovation went to a standstill at Microsoft. Once they got the DOJ lawsuit, everything interdepartmentally stopped. Lots of documentation was created. Many new innovations were 
stifled and ended because the focus of the company was to pass the lawsuit and not get split into multiple companies, which could have been the outcome of that antitrust lawsuit. So we'll see what happens with Google. Hopefully they don't stop innovating. And we will follow this story closely because it affects you, us near and dear since YouTube is wholly owned by Google. So this isn't a lawsuit against YouTube specifically, it's against Google, but of course, anything that affects the parent company will affect YouTube. Thoughts on this, Freedom Family? I'd love to hear your opinions. Tell me down there in the comments below, and let's follow this story closely. I also want to share with you that we are the first Steam MCN to offer a 110% revenue share. This is on www.tip.tm, the website behind me. And if you open up that article by clicking this big thumbnail, you'll see the details of what that means and how we are the first Steam MCN, Freedom Games, and what that means for you, Freedom Family, how you can benefit, how to get this 110%. So head on over to www.tip.tm and you'll notice there is a cool new category where you can show only the Google tips, which in this case, I only have one. A hacker deleted my Google account and how I recovered it. So that's a pretty interesting video and article. And there are some uh, game categories and a lot of YouTube tips, all categorized nicely on tip.tm. One other site I wanna show you is MGN TV which does the same. We're now categorizing all of our articles and videos into groups like comparisons. This Baldur's Gate 3 versus Solasta has a really cool image slider where you can look at the image before and after. So the left side is Baldur's Gate, the right side is Solasta. And you can see which game you prefer to help you decide which game to play if you're looking for a new RPG. Both Baldur's Gate 3 and Solasta are new RPGs based on the Dungeons and Dragons 5 5th edition. And check it out at www.mgn.tv and then just go to the category comparison or just scroll down and you'll see it in the list of many awesome game reviews, guides, top lists, and things that is I hope interesting for you gamers. And we have handy links to our YouTube channels, Facebook pages, Discord chats. This Discord chat's important. It lets you talk to us as well as Big C, who is looking for more reviewers and MGN directors if you want to write articles. Like the Dark Anthology, which was written by Jerome Bongertz. He is a brand new editor who's written several articles on MGN TV already. And I encourage you, if you enjoy writing, blogging, to contact Big C on Discord by simply clicking this Discord button in the top right corner and look for him. He's an admin on the MGN Discord server. And we have more people who are writing for MGN TV. One is, I'm just looking for the article, our Dreamscaper review. If I can't find it, I search for it. Dreamscaper. There we go. So the Dreamscaper Game Review was written by Quirky Custodian, which is another new uh, blogger who has joined the MGN TV team. And of course, on our YouTube channel for MGN TV, we now have 39 subscribers, guys. It's growing slowly, but we are practicing OVOB. One video, one blog. This grew from zero, nothing, just a few weeks ago. Click that eye to see this channel behind me and subscribe and become number 40, hopefully. And on this channel, you'll find all of our videos that we are also blogging about on our website. And I encourage you to study this closely. So for example, the Occupy White Walls game review, you can see the first link is always the blog link to mgn.tv. And if you click it, it'll open up in a new tab with the video in a playlist so when you play this video, you will always go to the next video that we control in the playlist, not a video that YouTube suggests. So once you hit the end of the video here, normally if you don't use a playlist embed, YouTube will play some other video or just stop playing this one. 
But now, when we reach the end of this video, in five, four, three, two, one, I'm not doing anything. Look, it plays the next video, which we've defined what the next video is. It's our Baldur's Gate 3 Tiefling Wizard, first 30 minutes. And you can see this is our playlist. If you click this, it'll take you to the actual playlist on YouTube. And here you can define the order of the videos that will be played as a playlist embed so that you control the next video. Plus you get other cool things like this next button which only appears in a playlist embed and the previous button as well. And when you're watching the video on YouTube, the cool thing is you get to see your videos in the suggested videos column here above all of the YouTube suggested videos. Those are the key benefits. And if you go to tip.tm, I have a detailed article, Playlist Embeds versus Video Embeds, which explains all of these benefits, as well as how to create a playlist embed and showing you the difference between a video embed and a playlist embed and all the things you need to know to get more views by using playlists instead of video embeds. Hope this helps, Freedom Family. And click that eye to see the playlist of The George Show. There are no videos violating YouTube's community guidelines in that playlist. And watch any episodes in case you missed any. I hope you enjoyed this. Who am I? I am your Papa George, your George Sunpai, Obi-Wan George Nobi, and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom family, has given me. And I got a new ring light. I now have two ring lights. Before I was getting inconsistent lighting, but now I have two, and I'll show you me my behind the scenes later so you can see my setup. But I like it much more, and I encourage you to invest the same. A good ring light with a stand and a remote control to control the intensity without having to get up and adjust it manually will cost you about $100 or $110, and uh, it does wonders for your video production quality. So, as I was saying, Hi, I'm George, the CEO and founder of Freedom for Freedom and the Freedom Family and MGN TV and Freedom Games, where we all help each other grow together as a family. That is the spirit of freedom. And exercise, guys. I went to the gym again today. I did a hard 120 RPM for two minutes at level 16 on the exercise bike. Sweat a lot. I feel great. I encourage you to do the same every single day. I'm now on day 37 of 37. That means I've been to the gym 37 times in the last 37 days and I haven't missed a beat. How long will this streak go for? I'll keep going as long as I can because it just feels good. I'm not actually losing weight. The scale tells me I'm gaining weight, but I figure that's because I'm gaining muscle and not just, you know, eating more and not exercising enough. But we'll see as time goes on. All right, Freedom. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button so it tells me what kind of content you enjoy and subscribe to Freedom Central, home of the George Show. Gong that notification bell just so you don't miss an episode. I am George, and you've been watching. Ooh, you dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. 
that will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.